Just keep a light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Okay, I'm just going to read a few scriptures out loud this morning as usual. Yesterday, God had me in Isaiah 26, where Isaiah was singing a song. And Isaiah also sings a, another song in Isaiah 27. So Isaiah 26 and Isaiah 27. Isaiah is singing songs to God. I'm not going to try to sing it. I'm just going to speak it. In uh, Isaiah 27, I'm just going to read a few of these verses that jump out to me first before I sing it, or say it rather. Where shall I begin? It's all so good. He says, In that day, God will punish with a great and cruel and mighty sword, Leviathan the elusive serpent, Leviathan, the twisting serpent, the dragon of the sea will be slain. I've had visions of Leviathan and Python spirit and Leviathan spirit. In that day, God will punish with a great and cruel and mighty sword, Leviathan, the elusive serpent, Leviathan, the twisting serpent, the dragon of the sea will be slain. Thank you, Jesus. But he says, the fortified cities lie desolate, the homesteads deserted, forsaken like a wilderness. The fortified cities lie desolate, the homesteads are deserted. Forsaken like a wilderness, the calves graze, there they lie down and consume its bows. And in that day, God will beat out the people like grain. God is sifting and shifting. God is sifting and shifting in Isaiah 27, 12. God is sifting and shifting, and he's beating out the people like grain. From the channel of the Euphrates to the Wadi of Egypt. And you shall be picked up one by one, O children of Israel. God is sifting and shifting and is beating, beating the people like grain in the sieve. And he's picking up the children of Israel one by one. But those that he doesn't pick up. He's assailing them with fury unchained. His pitiless blast bore them off on a day of gale. There's a hurricane category five day of gale heading towards Florida. Assailing them with fury unchained. It's a historic hurricane. It's the fifth largest ever in history. And there hasn't been one like this in a hundred years that's coming into Florida from the west like this. It's a once in a lifetime hurricane, assailing them with fury unchained. His pitiless blast bore them off on a day of gale. And God beat out the people like grain, but he picks up the children of Israel. Fortified cities shall be desolate, the homesteads deserted, forsaken like a wilderness. But in that day, God will punish that great and cruel and mighty, with his great and cruel and mighty sword, Leviathan, the elusive serpent. Leviathan, the twisting serpent, the dragon of the sea, shall be slain. And in that day, a great ram's horn shall be sounded, and the strayed who are in the land of Assyria
excuse me, I was about to sneeze. And in that day, a great ram's horn shall be sounded. Every time I make a video, I start burping and sneezing. <laughs> and in that day, a great ram's horn shall be sounded. And the strayed who are in the land of Assyria and the expelled who are in the land of Egypt shall come and worship God on his holy mountain in Jerusalem, it says. He says they'll come and worship God on his holy mountain in Jerusalem when the great ram's horn is sounded and the strayed and the expelled shall come and he brings in the prodigals. He might close one door on a prodigal but he'll get five more better doors. And in that day they shall sing this song about it. It's called the Vineyard of the Light. That's the name of that song, the Vineyard of the Light. In that day they shall sing of it. And it shall be called, the song shall be called the Vineyard of the Light. And in that day God will punish with a great, cruel, and mighty sword, Leviathan, the elusive serpent, Leviathan, the twisting serpent, the dragon of the sea, shall be slain. Wouldn't that be amazing, like if a historic hurricane would just disappear? When I was praying against that storm, I said, God, shock the world like you did at the Red Sea and just make it vanish by all logic. And then they will know that there is a God. God says, I will keep watch over it. God will keep watch over his vineyard of the light. And he will water it every moment. That no harm may befall his vineyard of the light. He says, I watch my vineyard of the light day and night. And there is no anger in me. If it offers me thorns and thistles, I will march to battle against it and set it all on fire. But if it holds fast to my refuge, it makes peace with me. It makes peace with me. If you hold fast to God as your refuge, he will make peace with you. But if you anger God and offer him thorns and thistles, he will march the battle against you and set it all on fire. In days to come, that's this is the word I was looking for right here. This is that scripture I was looking for. In days to come, Jacob shall strike root, and Israel shall sprout and blossom, and the face of the whole world shall be covered with fruit. Let me find that real quick up in here. Find that real quick quick up in here. There it is right there. I'm just taking a few notes. I'm just taking a few notes while I make my videos and speak God's word aloud over myself. Yesterday the scripture was Bring words to God. Come to God and bring words. I'm like all over the place right now. In days to come, Jacob shall strike root, and Israel shall sprout and blossom, and the face of the world shall be covered with fruit. I pray miracles over your life in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Was he beaten as his beaters have been? Did he suffer such slaughter as his slayers? Come receive it. The power of the Spirit is now forever yours. Come believe it. Come receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
all things are possible. I pray for your healing. I pray for your circumstances to change. I pray that the fear inside will flee in Jesus' name. I pray that a breakthrough will happen today. I pray miracles over your life. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I pray for revival, restoration of faith. I pray that the dead will come to life, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, singing two songs at once, singing the song of Isaiah and the song of in the background. God will assail his enemies with fury, un fury unchanged. God will assail his enemies with fury unchained. His pitiless blast for them all. He will have no pity on them on a day of gale. Gale means high winds. There's historic high winds today. Assuredly, by this alone shall Jacob's sin be purged away. This is the only price for removing his guilt, that he make all the altar stones like shattered blocks of chalk, with no sacred post left standing or any incense altars. Excuse me. Um, Jacob's sin, for Jacob's sin to be purged away in Isaiah, our sins are purged by the blood of Jesus. But we also have to turn our altar stones into shattered blocks of chalk. Anything that's an altar in your life, you have to shatter it and turn it to dust under your feet and scatter it so that there are no sacred posts left standing. These are the days we are dreaming of, so don't look away. These are the days. These are the days you better get them while they, while they come. Thus the fortified cities lie desolate, the homesteads deserted, forsaken like a wilderness. When its crown is withered, they break. Bringing a song of paradise. This is a great jubilation. It's the great jubilation we've been waiting for. Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. These are the days we've been dreaming of. So don't look away. These are the days. Better get them while they come. We thought we'd never see the sun through the darkness. But it's time to look up because these are the days. These are the days we've been dreaming of. And in that day, I will beat out God's people like grain and you should be picked up one by one, O children of Israel. And in that day, a great ram's horn shall be sounded, and the strayed who are in the land of Assyria and the expelled who are in the land of Egypt shall come and worship God on the holy mountain in Jerusalem. Does it matter if you strayed? Does it matter if you were expelled? 
God left the 99 for the one. God left the 99 for the one lost sheep. And he's bringing in the straight and the expelled and the prodigals. And they're going to be more powerful than all these religious things in the church. This is the day we've been dreaming of. And we will sing of it. And the song will be called the Vineyard of the Light. Amen. A threefold cord is not easily broken. God's turning the bitter places to sweet. And every door man closes, God will open five more better because we go from glory to glory. Let me just read something from the book of Matthew in the New Testament. Matthew 7, 25. And the rain descended and the hurricane rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house but it fell not for it was founded upon a rock the historic hurricane is coming and the rain is descending and the floods are coming and the wind is blowing and it's beating upon the houses but those who are founded upon a rock shall not fall. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man who built his house upon a rock. And the rains descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon the house, but it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not, whoever hears these sayings of mine and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. We need to have our house built on the rock of Jesus because there's going to be some storms coming and only those built on the rock will stand. Those built on shifting sand will fall. And God is sifting and shifting his people like grains of sand and he's picking up the children of Israel one by one. Morning, Father God, in Jesus' name. 